So what I was just playing was a tongue ram. It's a technique that requires a lot of air and it's a very interesting excited technique because it actually lowers the range of the flutes by a major seventh. It's also quite a common excited technique, it's not very difficult to produce. There are several ways of producing it but the way that I find easiest is by, of course you always have to cover the embouchure hole completely, but then I exhale a lot of air and stop it with my tongue. So. Even though there are different ways of producing the tongue ram, this does not cause any difference in sound. So it's up to the performer to choose how they want to, how they want to perform it. There are several different ways which composers have notated tongue rams. These are some standard ways. Sometimes below the notes they just put TR and a cross on the notes so that we know that it stands for tongue ram. It can also be called tongue stop, but tongue ram is more used. So two things interesting for composers to remember about this extended technique is for sure, one of the most important is that it will sound a major seventh lower than the fingered notes so you can actually lower the range of the flute. And another thing to remember, that it does sound very much like a percussive technique. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, you can always message me. You can message me here, or there are other social media accounts which you can follow me on and send me messages. And uh, please do subscribe. Good luck to composers, to flautists, and I'll see you on the next video. But Tong Ram, I think, but it, it can also be called tongue stop.